Hello guys, welcome back to Array's Gaming Guitar Productions, and today I have another video on playing PC VR games using your cardboard or phone VR headset. Now in this video, I will be sharing the new things I have discovered with this setup, and these things can be extremely helpful. Now this video gives alternatives to the previous setup items, like replacing the console controllers and Connect. But enough of the spoilers, let's begin. Now to start off, let's talk about the changes from the original setup. Originally, I suggested that you use a Connect for head and hand tracking, and you use console controllers for input which I still suggest but today we will be replacing at least one controller with a phone assuming that you have at least two to three phones and replacing the connect with one of those phones as a webcam or using a actual webcam for this. Now doing this is actually fairly easy and still requires driver for VR, but it also requires DSU manager, which was recently used with Switch and Wii emulators. Now, let me show you guys how to set this up. Now, once you have DSU manager installed on your PC, you then wanna go on your phone and download DSU controller that can be found on iPhone and Android. You need to only download DSU controller and then you want to open the application, go to the settings and find your IP address and port. So as you can see, I already have mine here, but if you wanted to do it, you would go to add device or manual input. And then you would just put in your IP address, equal sign, and then put 26760 or whatever port it is for you. Then you want to go to driver for VR, go to tracker manager. And if you update list of devices, you should be able to see your controller right here. So once you have it here preview and as you guys can see the joystick is working i am moving the joystick i'm pressing zl pressing l pressing minus pressing the home pressing plus pressing sl pressing sr and the d-pad doesn't work now you can use whatever controller layout you want i would suggest that you use the joy cons or if you need to you can use the xbox 360 light magic but I would suggest that you use either the Joy-Cons or the Xbox 360s just because they actually have a joystick. So of course, a regular VR controller does have a joystick and you want to actually be able to control everything with said joystick. So once you make sure that all the input works, then you want to click out of this. Now let's talk about using your webcam for tracking. Now from what I know of, you can't use it for head tracking alone, but you can use it for hand tracking and body tracking. Now I'm not sure if body tracking includes head tracking, so it just automatically tracks your head too. But from what I know of, you can only do this with hand tracking, as you guys can see, webcam slash deep learning beta and body tracking. You can also see it right here. So. For now, I'm just gonna show you guys how to do it with hand tracking. Go to configuration. As long as you have your webcam actually connected to your PC, if you go to camera and you click the drop down, you should see your camera here. So for me, I don't actually have mine connected. As you guys can see, it just has IP camera and PS3i. But if you're doing this with a phone, you wanna use IV cam or Arian cam. You can find them on Google. I will put a link to them in the description, but those are fairly easy to set up. I did this with IV cam and it worked actually pretty good. I would still suggest that you use connect just because it's it's way better. And if you're doing hand tracking and head tracking, it's a lot easier to just use the connect and connect it with both instead of having the webcam for hand tracking and then have the head tracking using connect. That can just get very weird. But all you need to do is connect your camera here so let's say for instance i'm using ps3i then you can pick between the camera driver you can use direct show or you can use ms media foundation it is completely up to you i don't know the difference between the two and you can also change the ai model complexity so for instance if you're having issues with using the complex ai model or the lightweight you can always change the optimal or vice versa you can change to any of these three so right now it's not going to show it even if i start it's not going to work because there is no camera actually connected but if you use iv cam or earring cam you should be able to get this to work and the skeleton is actually a lot better than the connect version of this but the connect version is slightly more stable than this and i, I managed to get the connect version actually working a lot easier than the webcam
Thank you guys for watching. If you guys want more of my discoveries from this setup, please make sure to like and subscribe. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next one.